Hello, welcome back to Life My Wife. It is, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Uh, it is 1.35. Oh, 1.30. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon. Just turning the camera on. But it just happened when I was about to turn the camera on, somebody called. So I thought you'd like to say hello. Look who's on camera. This is so funny. Hi. Hi, everybody. I have a book chosen for chapters. And I'm going to start reading it today. It might not be up tomorrow, but it could be up next week. Sounds good to me. And um, so I just thought I'd show everybody how Brody reacts when you're talking to him. I am trying to watch it. Brody, who's on the oh, phone? Yeah. Hi, Brody. Who's on the phone? Hello, Brody. Oh, you have a nice kid. Who's on the phone? Oh, yeah. He's like, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> I know you love Auntie Dorothy, don't you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, are you gonna show us what you were? You said that you were doing some craft or whatever. Oh, I have papers all over the table. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and I just finished my tea, so I am uh, trying to put together just a little photo album cool so i'm just at the very beginning but i had to start with this picture because it blows my mind this it's, is our little girl it's got to come into focus she was where it, just hold it it's got to sit still so that it'll focus Okay, I'll have to. We'll have to describe the picture because it's not focusing. Okay. focusing. It is a picture of Dania Ray sitting in Papa's chair, which is a recliner chair, but she's folded over like folded over like a clam like from her waist, like a clam. Yes, yeah. her hands are beside her. Her feet are out in front. Her hair is hanging down the front of the chair. She is sound asleep. Yeah, she folded over like a clam. That is so funny. Yeah. Uh, the last the last words I heard from her were, I am not tired. Zunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's another picture of a little lady. Yes, sitting up at the table in a beautiful little dress. Yes, and she's in her little pink chair, and she has her little pink whatevers. Yeah. She was quite happy. That's, sitting there watching TV. That's awesome. All right, maybe we shouldn't show too, too many pictures. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways. So it's different pictures of the kids and different pictures of Ian. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is our new way of, uh, of visiting Dorothy and I. <laughs> so our new way of oh, our new way of the only way we can visit right now and our and our our new way of vlogging with you in it <laughs> and this yeah, is this so is I'm what brody's little, doing i'm going to be putting little stories beside each of these pictures cool like i'm going to put the story about daniel ray falling asleep in like a pretzel yeah and and i'm going to be putting pictures you know, little stories that I'm printing so that the children can read mm -hmm. the stories. Because Xander doesn't think he should need to read. But I think he would, might be interested in this. Oh, boy. I'm really hoping so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So that okay. is my project today is I'm going to get this little album put together and I'm going to put some cute little stickers and stuff along with it so it'll be a fun book to go through make reading fun yeah exactly well That's like right. like you know and help them remember fun times exactly and you know like i know you love chapter books i don't like chapter books because and i've told you this before reading makes me very tired so it relaxes me so I don't enjoy a chapter book because then I forget what I read because I fall asleep. I prefer short. Uh, I prefer short stories. Ah, uh, well, so. I think you won't fall asleep in this book. No, <laughs> but, 
But we'll it leave, has cliffhanger chapters too. <laughs> we'll leave we'll leave the uh, the the chapter reading up to you though. Listening and yep. reading is two different things. Okay. All right. Get your nose so out of my drink. That's two of the projects I'm going to get done today is make a little storybook that has their pictures in it, mm -hmm. our pictures in it, um, and make um, some readings for you. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Well, this vlog that I'm doing today will go up tomorrow, and then we'll start yours next Friday. That sounds perfect. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Mr. Brody's standing up like a peacock looking out the window. <laughs> so I'm going to be reading. Can I tell them what I'm going to be reading? Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to be reading the Frank Peretti series on the Cooper Kids. Awesome. And it's such good stories that show the mighty power of God that it'll be so interesting. Awesome. So it's about a father who is an archaeologist and his two children, Jay is, Jay is 15 and Lila is 13, and they, they go everywhere with their dad, whatever uh, archaeological digs or wherever he's got to go. So they always travel together. Awesome. And it is, there are actually eight books, and I'm going to start with number one. Number one is not my favorite, though. Yeah. But it's a place to start. Yep, just go right on through it, for sure. And how many chapters are in each book? Eleven. And there's eight, so eight. Wow, okay. So it's going to take us a good part of the year. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. So uh, this will keep us till spring. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So. Perfect, perfect. And they are just such good stories in there. I love his descriptions. Like you can, when I read a book, I get into the story. Right. And because of the way he describes it, it's not so long and drawn out. Like there's some authors that take it too far. Right. And you're like, okay, I've got the idea of the room. Can we please get on with the story? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but this this author, he really has captured the ability to give you the setting. So you can picture it in your mind. Awesome. And then then he builds on the story, and it's just so good. Awesome. A bunch of people. Uh, all my authors, even though this is like a children's book, right. it is such a good read. That's awesome. I just realized that there's an awful lot of shout-outs going out on this vlog because my notifications are coming up so everybody's channels are popping up on top of the screen <laughs> oh is that right <laughs> oh that's too funny oh. so yeah so cooking with kevin's up and uh kevin did some fancy editing i watched it wasn't it awesome he's really starting into the editing and then the the bloopers at the end and oh that was good so ah. anybody that's on this watching this vlog if you haven't gone to see cooking with kevin you need to get back over there and go see that one because it was a good one yeah. it was yeah yeah it was a good one and it's a good recipe too mm. and kevin informed me when he was doing our playlist for our our um shopping halls that we clearly shop a lot yeah Brittany's or Brittany there I go again Brody sits very intently listening when Auntie Dorothy's on the phone after he gets yes, excited yes. after he gets very excited to see her and gives her a toy this is what he does <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty cute. Oh, boy. Yeah, so um, I'm not doing much, but this makes for good content. And, yeah, Kevin's Kevin's um, starting to do all the editing. He bought, he had a month subscription 
um, like free so free trial subscription for that music. Uh -huh. And it's all music you're allowed to use. But it, after a month's trial, you have to pay for it. He's decided to pay for it because it's just making the videos so much fun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And um, Michelle, Chickens by the Lake, she messaged us and asked us. And I said, oh, talk to Kevin because I don't do any of the editing. Anyways, um, she was doing the same month trial, too. And today she said that she's going to buy it, too, because it just makes it a lot of fun. Oh, that's that's neat. Yeah. So makes it a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So anyway... Yeah, I got to get some crafting done, I suppose, and some tutorials. and. I'm finally starting to feel a little better after the beginning of the week. You want to tell everybody? And, uh, I went in for uh, a chemically induced heart stress test at the, the hospital. and uh, Going to the hospital is stressful Monday. enough. <laughs> yeah, and... That was a long day. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday was just the resting stress test, and that was much easier. But it was two days out and about when I'm not used to going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So along with all the chemicals they mm -hmm. inject. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was forewarned that it can cause headaches, and yes, it did. Uh, so I've had a pretty low down week. Yeah. 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 I mean, I checked in on you a couple times, but we pretty much kept it low key this week for sure. Oh, yeah. So I'm starting to feel a little better. Mm -hmm. I haven't felt the absolute need to lay down yet. So, yay. <laughs> and I want to do this crafting thing. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Well, I just sat for an hour and did a foot um mask oh cool yeah so the foot masks um i get them on amazon but um it takes i think seven to ten days for all of the peeling to come off and you and then and you do it like every two months and um i've done a couple of them before but i'd only ever bought like one so this time i've got like a package of five or six or something so i can do it for a few months and get my feet nice. Nice. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. So. Yeah. Bro well, if you would turn the camera away for a moment. All right. For me. I will look at look at Brody Focus again. Brody. I wanted to show you this. Oh. This is a scratch that they did on Monday. It is now infected, thank you very much. And I have a bit of one left over there. From uh, They scratch to make sure that the diodes will stick on your skin. Oh. The next time somebody decides they want to do that, I'm telling them flat out no. This is so painful. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, so they literally scratch you. They literally scratch you. It almost looks like a piece of uh, Velcro, hmm. but it's bristly. Hmm. And they they literally scratch your skin. And when she did it, I yelped. It it actually it really hurt. It was like somebody taking a rough sandpaper to your skin. Well, only worse. You have sensitive skin to begin with. Yeah, and she didn't give me warning or nothing. She just did it. Because if she'd given me any warning, I would have told her no. <laughs> yeah. I was not impressed. <laughs> so now you have well, to nurse that. Yeah. Wow. And it's an awkward spot. Yeah. 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 It, the mark that Dorothy's talking about when I turn the camera, it's on her chest. Where one of the diodes would go when they're reading the... Right. Right. The information from your heart. Yeah. Ugh. It's an owie. Yeah, no It kidding. infected worse because I infect all the time. <laughs> Anything happens, it infects. It, it has to go that route first. Yeah. I don't know why. You would think that they would, like, ask you if you're diabetic or, or any of those kind of things 
because you would think, you know because you yeah people that are diabetic take longer to heal and everything else so yeah 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 and then at the other end they were so gentle wow which was really nice but it's really weird because they inject you with this stuff and then they put it put the syringe back into the lead container <laughs> So I've been glowing this week, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why I'm not feeling well. <laughs> yeah, but if you're glowing, maybe somebody will accuse you of being pregnant. <laughs> um, yeah, I, oh, no, that would be frightening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you're I'm on my vlog. The, that's Hello. that's Dorothy's son Ian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. And by the way, the haircut looks good. Oh, thank you. I mean Ian. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> thank you. It, yes. It's nice and smooth. I like it. Yes, I did it. I chopped mine at the front too. I couldn't handle it so split. Yeah, exactly. But I no. didn't realize how much I was taking off. <laughs> no, yours looks good <laughs> too, but unusual. it's just nice to see Ian all nice and clean cut. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike yeah. my man over there that's got bedhead because he needs a haircut. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Well, I actually cut Len's hair too short for him. And he's always whining about his curls getting in the way. So I practically gave him a brush cut. <laughs> Do you know what? It'll grow back. That's right. He was whining and crying about his curls and I chopped them all off because I love his curls and he knows it. But he won't he doesn't want to have to deal with them. <laughs> Do you want to hear a Do you want to hear a funny story about brush cuts? Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> Back 31 and a half years ago, when Kevin went to boot camp, um, the first time he came back home after boot camp, he flew into the Sarnia airport where I lived, and his mom and dad and I met him at the airport. Well, we're waiting in the terminal. And it's a small airport, so when you look outside, you can you can see the pilot in the cockpit. Like it's small. Yeah. So his mom and I are looking out the window, looking out the window, and his mom looks at me and goes, "Is that bald head in the cockpit, Kevin?" <laughs> and it was. It was. The pilot had had asked Kevin if he wanted to go up in the cockpit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because at the time his dad worked for Air Ontario. So he was well known. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It was funny. And it, I mean he it had been the first time in his life that he was like bald, not just a military cat kind of thing. Yeah, and when Kevin was like four or five years old, he had curls like you, like he had ringlets. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Brody's bugging daddy again. <laughs> All right, well, I'm That's just going to turn the camera off and I'll bring them back when we're cooking supper or something and you and I can chat more. Want to say goodbye? Okay. Bye. We got supper going. Let's have a look. Burgers. We got. We got ya fogged up there. <laughs> we got some French fries in the air fryer. Here's our toppings. Yum yum. So. Anyway. It's just been one of those days. It was so much fun to spend time with Dorothy, though. Even if it was just over video. <laughs> it's uh, been snowing here. It's 
been quite gray and gloomy the last few days, but it's snowing, so we'll see if we can get some sun in the next few days. Anyway, I'll bring you back and show you our plate all fancied up. All right, there's our yummy supper. Right? Mm-hmm. What do we put on our burgers? Why are you always ask when I get my mouth full? Because your mouth's always full. Ketchup, mustard, relish, onion, pickles. Mm-hmm. We do the same thing. And sometimes we do cheese and bacon. We didn't do that today, though. No. Mm. So. <sighs> anyway. Cat. Not much going on today, but we had a nice visit with Dorothy. Oh, oh, did you know we have trolls? We do have trolls. <laughs> I heard we have trolls. Uh, I had to laugh. Yeah. People got nothing better to do with their lives. Give us a good laugh. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Anyway, see you on the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.